Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we have got the second episode of my FIFA 15 potential cards and rating series. You guys absolutely loved the first one, really enjoyed it. And I cannot thank you guys enough for the likes and the comments and the new subscribers. I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And if you want to leave any more suggestions of who I should do next, leave them down in the comment section below. YouTube comments are always a little bit buggy, so I may have missed your comment last time. But before we do get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the FIFA shop Credit UK, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you do in fact get a discount off your order, which is always really good. So the first card we're going to predict for FIFA 15 is Neymar, and he's got an 84 rated striker card on FIFA 14 with 90 pace, 80 shooting and 92 dribbling. But I genuinely think that's going to get an upgrade. It's already been upgraded to an 85 on head to head. And I think he deserves an 86. I honestly think he's a very good player. 26 games, 9 goals, 10 assists, but stats don't always mean everything. I honestly think he's a really, really good player. He's had 84% pass accuracy, genuinely really good, and I do think he's going to be a left wing. He's played left wing in a 4-3-3, I believe, for Barcelona pretty much every game that he started. So, Pace plus one, shooting plus one, passing plus three, and heading plus one. Just generally an upgrade. I think that's worth the two overall upgrade. Then we're going to move on to Falcao, 90 rated striker on the game at the moment, with 78 pace, 86 shooting, and 81 dribbling. Now, he has been out injured for pretty much the second half of the season. I think he had ligament surgery and it caused him to be out for the second half of the season which is fair enough so we can't be too harsh on Falcao 17 games nine goals zero assists but the guy is still an absolute machine in my opinion but I do think he deserves a downgrade to 89 it has already happened on head to head I'm gonna drop his pace by minus one shooting by minus one I'm gonna up his passing by plus one simply because I genuinely think his passing should be higher so in the games that he played he had an 85% pass accuracy. That doesn't deserve a 62 passing overall. So I'm up in that. I think it's pretty fair and it kind of balances the changes that I've made. I'm giving back his five star weak foot as well. I don't know why they took it away in the first place. It will be awesome to have it back. And I think it's going to be a good card. So let's move on to the final one. It's a huge player. It is Cristiano Ronaldo. This is his card at the moment. 92 overall with 93 pace, 91 dribbling, 90 shooting and 86 heading. So... This is what I think he's going to change you. I think, hopefully, this is what I want to happen. I'd really like to see Ronaldo change to a 93. Messi still has a 94, but I think Ronaldo definitely deserves to only be one overall lower. He's won the Ballon d'Or, 80% pass accuracy, 30 games, 31 goals, and 11 assists. I wouldn't change anything else. I'm going to change his actual stats. Shooting plus one, passing plus one, and dribbling plus one. But his other stats, they can stay exactly how they are. I think they make sense completely. Four star weak foot, definitely, and five star skills without a shadow of a doubt. So that is what I'd love the Ronaldo's card to be on FIFA 15. Hopefully, it's something very similar, but that does wrap up this video. Let me know in the comment section who you'd like to see next. I really hope you have enjoyed this one as much as you did in the first one. But that does wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for some more from myself. But take care. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.